Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Node.js with MySQL APIs. This is our second part. Inside this video session guys, we are going to install Node.js and VS Code. It stands for Visual Studio Code as well as we will execute and run our first program in Node.js. From the first part, we understood that Node.js is not in the language, it's not any program or any framework. It is only a runtime execution environment that executes JavaScript code outside of the browsers. So we are ready to install our Node.js environment to execute our JavaScript code to our local system. So the best way to download about Node.js from its official website. So back to browser. Now this is the official website called nodejs.org. From this browser means from this website actually we can download about long term support that is current stable version. So before installing nodejs if I type command node-v then it will give an error something node package does not found in my system. But before making this video, I have successfully installed Node.js to my local system that is current latest version something 12.14.1. So as my system actually contains about Linux operating system, so on the behalf of that operating system actually, I have downloaded this file and installed via command line. Now according to your operating system either Windows, Mac or any other operating system you can download any of the required files from here and install to your local system. After installation while typing this command something node-v you will get the current version that what version you have installed. So this is the best way to install Node.js to your system. Now let's see about how can we install Visual Studio Code. So to install VS Code to our system, we have to go the we have to go inside the official website called code.visualstudio.com. Now inside this website, we can find a download button here. While going through this download button actually, according to operating system, it has also provided about the download options. As my system contains about Linux operating system, so I have downloaded called .deb file and installed via this package. Now if your system has contained about Windows like 7, 10 or any version of Windows operating system, you can download from here and install to your system. So basically guys, I have downloaded about the node current version as well as Visual Studio Code and I also strongly recommend you to download this software basically for the programming of JavaScript frameworks. As because this editor gives us the wide nature of or let's say various nature to actually use and do our JavaScript code inside this editor. This is a powerful editor for the JavaScript frameworks because it contains several plugins or several packages to do and code inside it. So I strongly recommend you to that if you are JavaScript programmer then must install this software to your local system. Now all we have seen that how can we install about Node.js and Visual Studio Code. Let's go ahead and run our first program in Node.js. So if I back to browser, now this is the folder actually I have created inside HTML folder and I'm going to import this folder inside let's our inside VS Code. So I'm going to open this folder inside VS Code and successfully I have imported that folder inside VS Code. So right now this folder is totally empty so it is not containing any file. So let's create first file that is app.js. So inside this file simply I'm going to write a small snippet of JavaScript code and execute via Node.js. So let's create a function inside this app.js let's say function let's say, say hi and inside this simply I'm going to console.log if I make zoom of this file so go to view appearance and let's say zoom in 
so successfully we have zoomed that. Now inside this app.js, simply we have made a function, let's just say hi, and inside this function we are going to pass a parameter called name, and let's say hi, and we are going to concatenate this value with this name parameter. So this is basically hi and let's pass a value something online web tutor so it will console that is hi online web tutor. Now we are going to call this function so let's just say hi and inside this if I pass the name let's say online web tutor now successfully we have done that. So how can we execute this app.js via node programming? So if I go to our terminal and first of all actually we have to go inside this folder so if I copy this path back to terminal let's say CT and now we have successfully inside this folder something learn hyphen node hyphen mysql so the simple way to execute any node.js file simply by typing node and here we have to provide the file name as an argument so we have to type app.js and as we know from the first part that is node.js is a runtime execution environment which is built in C++ program with Chrome Fiat engine. So simply this is the file name called app.js. Now we are going to pass this app.js to our node and simply this node passing the variable name means app.js to C++ program and Fiat engine to compile and run to this executed code. So if we type node app.js hitting enter now as we can see that we have output called hi online web tutor. So back to editor. Now instead of online web tutor if I place any name and simply go inside terminal and if we type node app.js to run now this is the output actually we got. Now this is the simplest way to execute our node.js programming and remember this is not the way to execute. This is only what we are passing as an argument to our node application and it is going to compile and run with the V8 engine code outside of the browser. So inside this video session guys we had seen that how can we download and install Node.js and VS Code to our system as well as by the help of app.js a simple program we have made and run in Node.js. So inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.